Hello, and welcome back to Let's Talk About STEAM. My name is Kelton, I'm an intern at Unicorn Library System, and this week's theme is Walk on the Wild Side. Hello, my name is Spencer Weaver, and I'm an intern at Unicorn Library. This week is week seven, and today's experiment is Gummy Bear Osmosis. The materials needed for this experiment are Gummy Bear, of course, paper towel, four individual separate container, glass containers, salt, a tablespoon measure, graduated sugar, baking soda, a calculator, a ruler, a kitchen scale, and a timer, and last but not least, an information sheet. Now, if you don't have an information sheet, you can just take a blank piece of paper and write down distilled water, salt water, baking soda water, and sugar water. Okay, now that you got your materials, be sure to fill each of your glasses with a cup of water. The first glass, you're going to leave it as it is. Your second one, you're going to fill it up with a tablespoon of granulated sugar. Your second glass, or third glass, you can fill it up with a tablespoon of baking soda. And your fourth and final glass, you can fill it up with a tablespoon of salt. What you want to do is take the gummy bear and put it on a kitchen scale. Ours weigh about two grams. Write that down on your information sheet. Now, you want to measure the length of your gummy bear. Now, if you take your ruler and put it beside, ours weigh about an inch. Yours might be different. Write that down on your information sheet. Okay, now that each of your glasses are filled with their respective solutions, I'm going to take a gummy bear and we're going to drop it in it. So for the distilled water, I'm going to put the red gummy bear in it. For your salt water, you're going to put a green gummy bear in it. For your sugared water, I'm going to put a clear gummy bear in it. And for your baking soda water, I'm going to put an orange gummy bear in it. I'm going to get your timer, and we do three separate times. We're going to do two minutes, then 10 minutes, then 12 whole hours. Okay, it has been two minutes. Let's look at our gummy bears. I'm not seeing as much difference now, so we're going to move on to 10 minutes. Be sure to write down your times and what you notice in the gummy bear experiment on the first two minutes. We're back after our 10 minute interval and I'm looking into my jars and the only thing I'm seeing is that the gummy bear and the baking soda is expanding just a little. So we're going to take our, we're going to get our data sheet and write that down. It's been about 12 hours, and we'll see how our gummy bears turned out. We're going to dump a paper towel and see the differences. Now first, our gummy bear that was dumped into water. For us, it broke apart, but it still it looks like it expanded a little bit before it broke. The next one. Our salt water. It broke apart a little, but there's still a large piece in it. Now, the one that probably did the best, the sugar one. This one expanded evenly. 
and it's still together. And our last one is our baking soda. Now this one is still about the same size. Now, make sure you take your rule and your kitchen skill and measure them. Now, since two of them kind of fell apart, we're just going to measure the sugar. Now, ours is about one and a half inches. And now, let's see how much it is. Due to osmosis, it now weighs around four grams. Now, the science behind this. The reason that the water is absorbed by the coming bear is due to the process of osmosis. Osmosis is when water penetrates the single permeable structure of the coming bear. The, gel the jelly bear is like a sponge. It can absorb the water, and the reason it doesn't break down is because of the gelatin. I hope you enjoyed this segment of Let's Talk About Steam. If you signed up for some reading, remember to keep earning those badges. And if you're not signed up for some reading, get signed up for some reading. And remember, tales and tales. tales.